Here we are back again in the Sale Common and welcome to Thirsty Thursday. Mesquite Monday was taken, Canteen Cup Tuesday was taken, Wood Stove Wednesday was taken and Frying Pan Friday was taken. So here we have Thirsty Thursday. What I aim to do is come up with some different drinks we can have while we're out on the track and out in the bush other than water and tea and coffee. So today is rather unseasonally warm for us. It's getting up to about 30 degrees, which is what, high 80s for those in the Fahrenheit. And so I decided that instead of a cup of tea, I'd bring some cold drinks with me. Because one of the things to think about with physics, to get ice from ice to liquid water is the same amount of energy as it takes to get that liquid water to about 80 degrees centigrade or about 180 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees centigrade is too hot to drink it's just sort of boiling and if you go to a coffee shop the coffee they sell you is around 65 degrees centigrade so a couple of tips today number one the trusty old canteen last night I about a quarter filled that with water stuck it in the freezer overnight and then topped it up with water today so nice and simple second one beer can what I did last night was wrapped a wet tea towel or dishcloth around an empty beer can, stuck that in the freezer overnight, so it's still fairly solid. And because we don't want to be like those people from Sydney, I brought along a nice cold glass and just a container of ice. So I'll get these all out and I'll measure the temperature in the beer and I'll see what the temperature was in the fridge and what it was here. I'm quite impressed. When I measured the temperature of my fridge this morning, it was about five degrees Celsius. I just measured my beer and it's two degrees Celsius. So it's actually gone down three degrees in the hour and a half that it's been sitting in the frozen towel. I come out to these wetlands four or five hours, maybe six hours a day, five days a week, but I'm only walking probably half that, sort of a couple of hours a day. So I've got plenty of time to fiddle around with canteen cup meals and cold beer and so on. A suggestion with the, the beer is this is an Irish beer, it's a Kilkenny and it's an ale so they're designed to be drunk at about 6 to 10 degrees Celsius or about cellar temperature so that makes it a lot easier for carrying it out in the bush. My days of bush walking overnight and long treks are long gone so as I said I'm out here six hours a day, but I might only be walking two, maybe three of those. And out here, as you can see, it's very flat. We're on a boardwalk. There's a lookout. The track is wheelchair friendly, and the rest of the track on this one is four-wheel drive management vehicle track. So nice and easy. I don't need to carry any emergency gear. We're literally five minutes out of town. From where I parked the car is literally five minutes from where I live. You can probably see some traffic there. That's the South Gippsland Highway. We've got mobile phone coverage. If the ambulance needs to come and get me, that's pretty easy. Right, it's about three hours since I left home this morning. There's still ice in my canteen. The ice cubes in the container are still, still there. About half of them are, are gone. And I'm about 300 metres away from my car. So I'm quite pleased with that, that I've got cold water still when I get back to the car. I've got a cold towel to give myself a face wash. And I've got a little bit of ice there if I need that as well. See you next time.